Hello, and welcome to the Reflect Academy video note-taking course. Now, most note-taking courses focus on academia and how to take notes off of a lecture or a video or something. This course is instead going to be focused on how to improve your note-taking as a professional for both uh, your business and work life and your personal life. So it's going to be great for people who are managers and executives, maybe working in tech as an engineer or a marketer, anyone who is doing things like holding lots of meetings, building products, working on multiple projects, all of that good stuff. So this course is going to be about 10 videos long. Each video is going to take you through an individual component of note taking. You can kind of think of each one as a pillar of note taking that you can then apply to your own life and your own workflow. And hopefully by the end of the course, you'll have a very concrete idea of how to take notes. And you of course don't need to follow everything in this course. You can pick and choose what you want to, but I do recommend starting with, uh, of course, this video, the introduction and the next video that's going to kind of start outlining a basic structure for how you can take notes. But we're going to dive into this a little bit more. As a brief intro, I do want to say most of the videos are going to be very work focused. I'm going to be showing you how to do things, not just talking. This introduction video is going to be the only one where I'm kind of sitting here talking and explaining some things. Okay, so we've covered a bit of a welcome and a course overview. So let's actually start talking about how note taking is going to improve your life. And to do that, we need to talk a little bit about how our brains work because note taking actually helps us think better, which is where a lot of the benefits come from. So our brains are incredibly good at creating associations, things like thoughts, ideas, connections between those thoughts and ideas. And we form them very quickly and rapidly. It's why we can just kind of sit in the shower and just come up with a ton of great ideas all in a, a rapid spurt. But sadly, our brains are not very good at storing information and storing these associations, which is unfortunate because they're fleeting. I think we've all experienced this where you have a great idea or maybe even a solution to a problem. And by the time you find a notepad or something to start writing it down, the idea is gone. It's a deeply frustrating experience and it actually drastically hurts our productivity and efficiency in what we're working on. So note taking outsources the storage of these associations and that kind of gives our brain a bit of a superpower because it can then focus on forming these new associations, these new thoughts, new ideas instead of actually storing them. So that's kind of the first point is you wanna be taking notes in a way that encourages the logging of these uh, ideas and thoughts and also the creation of more associations. So you're not only going to remember more, but you're actually gonna start thinking better and forming more of these associations. So of course, if you, you know, are logging all of your ideas, it makes them easier to recall. You can just go back into your notes and find them. But over time, as you start recording more of them, you will start making new connections that you otherwise wouldn't have. It might be something in a meeting from months back that you would have forgotten, and all of a sudden it pops up as a backlink in your note, and you know to bring it up, and you might form a new partnership, get a new client, uh, have a new product feature that changes your business. And once you kind of start to have more of these moments, you start to rely on your notes more and more, and it will start to feel like a second brain because that is in effect what you're developing over time. There's also some benefits besides just sort of, you know, efficiency, memory, things we traditionally associate with note taking. You're going to see a heavy reduction in the anxiety of your thinking because when we forget things, it kind of stresses us out. In that example I said earlier, if we have that idea or the solution and then we forget about it, you feel that you've lost and that's a very anxiety inducing experience. And it also reduces anxiety because we know what's happening. We're not worrying about the information that we're missing or if we're doing something, uh, you know, wrong because we're actually outlining everything, including our thinking in our notes. And that reduces our anxiety. And finally, it also reduces the stress because we know exactly what to do. If you're taking notes correctly, you should be waking up each morning and just be able to open your notes and know exactly where you left off. And if some of this sounds a little bit mysterious, don't worry, we're going to cover it all throughout the course of this note taking course in the video. So we'll give you solutions for each of these, but let's now go talk a little bit about specifically what you'll gain from the course. So we're going to talk about some different note taking methods, specifically the daily note taking method. And they're very, very easy to adopt. So if you're someone who has struggled with uh, keeping up a note taking habit or starting a note taking habit, this course is going to be for you. We're going to tell you exactly how to do it. And 
I promise it's going to be fun and enjoyable, not something you're trying to force yourself how to do. If you do have a note taking habit, but feel like you can get more out of your notes, the course is also going to be for you. And you might be able to uh, skip over some of those earlier parts. And then, you know, we're going to talk about how to take notes using bi-directional links, otherwise known as network note taking, if you have heard that term. And that's really what I was talking about earlier with associations. That's what these backlinks do. The backlinks act as the associations. So you can think of individual notes as your thoughts and ideas, and the backlinks are the association between them. So the more backlinks you have, the more associations you form, and it makes them easier to form over time. So it kind of has a compounding effect, which is why it's best to start note taking as soon as possible. And if you hear the word, you know, backlinks or network note taking and think this is some new thing, it's really not. Backlinking has been around for, uh, well, functionally, even before computers, people were using um, network note taking methods like the uh, Zettelkasten method to create links between their notes. Problem was that before the digital age, you had to do this all on paper and it was really hard to kind of form those links and recall them. Digital note taking has made this incredibly easy with backlinks. So don't worry, we'll talk about all of that in detail. It's nothing scary. It's actually a much, much easier system of working through and taking notes through than something like a traditional folder system. And then we're also going to talk about uh, how to find the tool that fits you best. So this note taking course, I'll of course be using Reflect, which has all the features I'm talking about, but most of these will apply to other tools. Even with some of our AI features that I'm going to go over, you could use ChatGPT as a replacement or Super Whisper to transcribe your voice. And I'll be sure to mention those of the other options that I have because choosing a note-taking tool is a deeply personal decision. There's no such thing as the best note-taking tool because it's going to come down to your individual preferences and workflows. So that's kind of what we will cover in the course. We'll walk through how to take notes, I'll walk you through examples of what to do, some systems, some structures, and maybe even some key features of many note-taking applications that you might not know about to take advantage of. And maybe as a fourth category that I didn't put in here, I'm gonna focus a lot on frictionless thought capture. So maybe things like capturing readings, capturing our meeting notes, uh, capturing those ideas on the fly that I was talking about. We're going to dive deep into all of that and make sure that you leave this course with excellent systems to make them work. And finally, I do want to give just a brief introduction to Reflect as the tool here, since I will be using it. Um, it Reflect isn't, of course, a network note-taking tool, and I'll be diving into all of this in depth, but just to give you kind of a brief uh, show of what that is. Let's take this last sentence here that I'm talking about, which is the brief introduction to Reflect. Reflect is a company. It's an entity, so I would add a backlink to that. And I, of course, backlink Reflect for a lot of things. And now I can pull this up. So here I can see all of my notes with Reflect and works that way with any backlink tool. So we'll cover that, but that is the core functionality of Reflect. Uh, Reflect also has AI built in. So like I mentioned earlier, earlier, I'll talk about that and how to use your own and develop your own AI custom prompts in your notes. And uh, just a couple other highlights. Reflect is a daily note taking tool. So um, each day you have a new note to work out of, which will be one of the first concepts I cover. And it also has a mind map. So uh, just to kind of give you a visual representation, these are all of my backlink notes together. And it's actually a visual representation of my second brain because all of these individual nodes are different notes and the line between them are all connected to each other. And over time, this grows and grows. So I've been using Reflect for a little while now. So my map is growing. Starting out, you might just have one note and then a couple, but you'll be surprised how quickly it grows when you backlink. And don't worry, we will teach you exactly how to backlink in this course. So that's it for the introduction. I hope that got you a little bit excited. If any of this sounds interesting, keep an eye out for the future videos. I'm going to try and produce them really regularly. But like I said, I expect there to be about 10 and we will be publishing these on the Academy page with more information for each. So thanks for joining us and keep an eye out for the next one.